What is going on guys, Harley here. Welcome back to an episode of Mixed Reviews, the popular product review channel with a twist. Today we're gonna to be doing the top three things that we found on Amazon for under 50 bucks. This was from an article that we reviewed. Go ahead and check out that article down in the description. Uh, but we got some, some cool stuff. We got some cool things, good gift giving ideas, good personal gadgets, uh, all tech related because this is a tech based channel but we're excited to hop into them. Just so you know, every Tuesday at 2 p.m. we drop a new video, so go ahead and subscribe, drop us a like, a dislike if you didn't like it, leave us a comment down below, we will respond back, we will get in touch with you, and uh, let us know what you want us to review, let us know what you want us to drink, we're happy to do it. We actually got all three of these bad boys right here, already open, because we can't wait. We have the world's smallest <laughs> Bluetooth speaker, and it is very small. The Sphero Mini. To be completely honest, TJ ordered this one, so I'm not exactly sure what it does. It's a robotic ball. And we have this fingerprint lock. It kind of takes Touch ID to a lock pad. I'm excited. These are actually in order of most expensive to least expensive. We have the lock coming in around $50. We have the Sphero ball coming in at 40. And this world's smallest Bluetooth speaker was only $15 and was available in a bunch of colors. And again, all three of these are gonna be linked down below. If you wanna get one of these for yourself or for a friend, you can go ahead and do that right in the description box. Starting in order of least expensive, the world's smallest Bluetooth speaker, hands-free phone calls with one click, portable, obviously, music and a selfie button. I don't know if you can take pictures on this thing, I don't know if it has a camera. Let's try to get it open. This thing is so tiny. Like in the palm of my hand, it's probably the size of like a half dollar, like a thick quarter. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's got like a little home button right here on the back. I'm assuming that's how you power it. There's a little charging port, even like a little kind of key ring hole. Inside, we have the charging cable. We have, oh, there's a little key ring hole and it looks like it plugs into an auxiliary port on a phone, which they don't exist anymore. So I don't know what the point of this is, but it's kind of a nice little novelty piece. And we have some instructions. The Inseek Mini Wireless Bluetooth Speaker. Even the instructions are mini. Everything about this is so tiny. Let's just try to turn it on. Bluetooth pairing. Turn on the Bluetooth speaker by holding the main button for three seconds. So we'll hold down the home button. Bluetooth device ready to pair. Ooh. Uh, let's go to Bluetooth. Bluetooth device connected. So on full volume, the sound's pretty distorted, but given the size of this thing, it can fill a room probably on half volume. And for $15, it's pretty hard to beat this as a Bluetooth speaker. It even has the capability to control your phone. So if you want to take a little selfie, you can do that right with the click of this home button. And we can even make phone calls off of this. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna call my wife. We're gonna see what she's doing. And we'll see how it does over the phone. Hey, how are you? I'm just calling you on the world's smallest Bluetooth speaker. How's it sound? It sounds pretty good. I can hear you. You kind of sound like you might slightly be underwater, but it's decent. How would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, <laughs> I guess that didn't go very well. 
Uh, obviously not a phone, but for what it is and for what we paid for, 15 bucks, probably one of the coolest Bluetooth speakers I've played with. So there's that, it's available in a bunch of different colors, charges super easily. You can put it in your non-existent headphone jack on your iPhone. Um, I would give this a thumbs up. Up next on the list is the Sphero Mini Robotic Ball. I'm not even quite sure what this thing does. I didn't order it. So. We're gonna learn together. Let's get it open. So we have the robot now. He's been charging for, I don't know, five minutes. We're gonna try him out. You can adjust the colors in here. We can adjust the speed. Oh. <laughs> hey, there we go. This thing's fun, man. Wow, you can completely customize this thing to have it go down its own course, follow your own, you know, activities, change colors. I don't know how to control it with my face. I only use it for the self-driving capabilities and the color changing, but worth the investment, I give it a thumbs up. There's honestly so much to explore in this little ball that we do not have the time in this video to go through it all but it is pretty fun, it's very entertaining, and there's a ton that you can do on this. Even educationally, you can even code on here. For $40, I think it's a great buy. Last but not least, we have our $50 Benji Lock by Hampton. It's a Touch ID lock. So you can go ahead and set your fingerprint in here versus a code, so that way nobody can guess it. And it's a lot easier to remember because you're not gonna lose your finger anytime soon. Okay, there are physical keys that come with this lock. All right, let's try to open her up and see what's going on. Now that my thumb is stored, I can lock and unlock this. TJ, will you put your thumb in here and try to... No, they give you the red light. Let's try the other thumb. No. Wow. That actually works. Okay, so we can add additional fingers to the lock, so that way it's more than just my thumb that unlocks it. Um, so all you have to do is wake up your Benji lock by touching the screen with a finger that is not programmed. There we go. Insert your key and turn it counterclockwise. Touch the screen with your original stored finger. Press the button on the bottom two times to assign the new finger to a user. So two times for user two. Place new finger on the screen five times. TJ, get your thumb on there. There you go, one, two, three, four. Hold on, it should blink a bunch. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Now, we pull the key out and your finger should be stored. So now let me try mine. There we go. Now let's try your finger. Hey, and it works. But it's a pretty straightforward tool. It's obviously very high convenience, $50 for a lock, uh, which is a pretty high price tag. Uh, the fact that you can just use your finger though, nobody can hack this unless they have this key and your thumb. So they'd have to cut off your finger and steal your key to get into your lock. For me personally, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. 50 bucks is quite a hefty price tag for a lock. I do think the Touch ID is a pretty cool feature, but on that same token, would I spend $50 on a lock to have a thumbprint? Probably not. I think it's a cool idea, but it might be a little overpriced for what it is. I appreciate you guys watching this. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Uh, we're open to constructive criticism. Drop us a comment in the comment box down below. Subscribe, as I said in the beginning of the video, we drop a new video every Tuesday at 2 p.m. So let us know what you want us to review. Let us know what you want me to drink. Until next time, guys, peace.